YouTube, I want to wish all the dads out there happy Daddy's Day. I hope you are as blessed as I am, and I'll be putting out a video later telling you why I do not call it Father's Day, I call it Daddy's Day, and the biblical nature behind that, of why I do that, uh, that we're not taught in churches, uh, that is directly from the Bible, uh, concerning how we are to address two groups of people. And uh, but we'll do, I'll do that later. Right now, I just want to express to you, uh, you you dads out there, that I never thought that there would come a day that I would have such a wonderful life as a daddy. You would have asked me that 15 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Uh, when I was younger, I, I perceived it, but uh, for the past 40 years, I never thought, or the 40 years be before really Joe, I never thought that such happiness this way would come for me and uh, I want to tell you no matter where you're sitting right now no matter what your situation is uh, maybe that day can come for, for you and, I, and everything has a type of a tale to it some, most times it should have a cautionary tale to you. Uh, I'm going to tell you mine. Uh, I, I never thought I'd have have Joe. I never thought that would be possible. Uh, I was up in years when my wife got pregnant with him and he's been a blessing to both her and I from day one. And I want to tell you why that is. And especially in this wicked, perverse generation, him being 14 uh, and not into any of it. Uh, God gives us, he gives us instructions and he says if you do this this will be the result and that's the promise he makes to us there's a lot of Weisenheimers out there that say well this one's the exception this one's the exception and I'll show you in the back of it I will show you a bad parent I will show you a bad father or a bad mother uh the world may not know it, but I'm telling you, the the tree and the care for the tree that that you perform uh, your work into it will give either bad uh, bad fruits or good fruits, and it's a guarantee. There's no skip or beat there, and. God laid it on me. You look in that Bible, you see what you're supposed to do with this boy, and you do it. And in my imperfect ways, uh, in me and all my unperfectness, and my mess-ups and my screw-ups, have tried to apply these things all of my son's life. And it has proved produce forth good fruit and a blessing for me and um, so on this Father's Day I wish happiness to the uh, on this Daddy's Day I wish happiness to
to all you dads out there. Uh, and I want to tell everybody, if you're not as happy as me, you can be. You can be. And uh, there's with concerns to being a daddy. And um, it's just a certain path you got to follow. And if you follow that path, you'll get the good fruit. And uh, uh, so I just want to, you guys know how I babble and babble and on and on and on. Uh, but if you're having problems today as a dad, do not stick your head in a bowl of depression. Uh, stick your, your head in a bowl of realization uh, because tomorrow can change, can change just like that for the better for you. So I want to give a big God bless you to all my Christian brothers and sisters out there. Um, I hope it's a wonderful day for you. To all my Christian dads out there, uh, thank you for producing uh, strong, morally fit kids because God knows we need more of you and we need more of your children that are standing on firm moral concrete and e firm moral and ethical concrete foundations. We need more of you. Thank you. A big thank you to you guys. You dad, dads out there. And uh, to you dads who feel like maybe something ain't right, maybe you can't see your children, maybe this, maybe that, uh, maybe you've had a child pass, love to you, um, nothing like the separation of a dad and a child, and, uh, but I'm here to tell you God heals, can, can heal everything. And uh, I know that sounds cliche, but I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we've all got a boatload and a host of emotional, mental, and physical scars from this cruel world. And uh, much love to you, much empathy and sympathy for you, and remember... Don't stick your head in a bowl of depression today, no matter your circumstances, Dad. Stick, stick your head in a bowl of realization and hope because change can come when you least expect it. I'll be putting some more videos out. And young dads, when you realize my walk in life, separation from a child, uh, the world coming against you. I've been through this all. I've, I've been through every single bit of it. And I'm going to start sharing some of these things out in the hopes that it will help help you young dads. And uh, young dads on concrete, uh, again, thanks to you. And young dads not on concrete, be patient, work hard, get yourself on that firm, concrete, ethical, and moral foundation, and all your dreams will come true, because they sure have for me, and life is a mimic, you do this, you get this result, you do that, you get that result, so, this was, I really said more than I wanted to say, because I really wanted to just say, happy Dad's Day, and say all these good things, but I want to finish with good things. I don't want a thing, don't need a thing, I am blessed and today I am thanking the good Lord for helping me realize to see what to do with my son and uh, my son turning out so beautifully and just prayers that I continue doing that. Because I don't need a thing. 
Oh, this is just a blessed day for me, and I want it to be a blessed day for you. So, everybody have a good day. Remember, young dads as well, if you did something yesterday that's unbecoming, I don't know why these dogs go crazy when, uh, if you do something that, if you did something that's unbecoming yesterday, try not to do it today, and forget about it as you're moving on into tomorrow. Don't hold nothing. Give it to God, uh, who is Jesus. We call it as Christians, lay it at the cross and move on and become better for whatever wrongs happened or what you feel you should have, woulda, shoulda, coulda. And uh, move on, be strong in the realization on the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And just try to correct those things as best you can and move on. And uh, if you do that, you're going to see better days ahead of you, Daddy. You are. You're going to see better days. So, love you guys. Uh, a lot of you don't realize how important uh, it, this day is for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of us lost our fathers when we were little, little children. And uh, we, we tend to respect the day a little, maybe, I'm not being judgmental here, but maybe we take the day a little more serious or it's more sentimental to us. So uh, to all you dads out there that lost your dads when, when you were a young age, blessings to you, a medal to you, a gold trophy to you, for trying and realizing that time is so valuable with your children uh, and trying to utilize the time that you have wisely. So, uh, blessings, love, and I'll be putting up a video probably later today uh, talking about fathers in this world and hopefully giving some warnings and hopefully giving some good encouragement that young dads can use and carry with their walk with them in life and uh, hope that I can help somebody out so because like I said my life did this and I am receiving so many blessings that I thought was not possible and every time I get one I look back in life and I say I asked for this to happen I asked for this 36 years ago, and it happens today, for example. And uh, you need to look back in that aspect, too, because a lot of times when you get something, it might be 10 years down the road. It might be 36 years down the road. Uh, but hold fast to your faith. Try to do the right thing as much as you can. You're not perfect. Try to do the right thing as much as you can, and goodness will come your way, young dad. So happy Daddy's Day to everybody. God's blessings to my Christian brothers and sisters. And remember, if the good Lord comes knocking on that door, first, make sure it's Him. And then second, if it is, let Him in. You'll be the better for it.